Hey everybody. Hello. What's going on? How are you doing tonight? Well, it's night. Okay, here's what it is. It is Tuesday night. Now, all of this stuff all around me, I filmed a video early this morning at about six o'clock, but I'm probably not going to upload that's Clover. I'm probably not going to upload this video until Wednesday. So happy Wednesday. But I'm filming it now because no. Oh dear, here we go with the cats. I'm filming it now because I think there's something in here that I want to wear tomorrow. Maybe. Um, but it's a Timu haul in a blinding white bag with a little bit of orange tape on the bottom. Otherwise... The orange is just slowly fading into obscurity. Let me, I've got pillows all around me. Now, if you caught my last video called Early Morning Timu Hall, you'll understand why I have 9,000 pillows all over my bed. But let me get my favorite pillow of all, which is this waffle cushion, really, and put it behind my old lady back. I have so many pillows now that I'm, I need help. I really need somebody. I, w I do. A lot of you guys say in comments that you wish that you were my neighbor or friend. Well, I kind of wish you were too because I would call you and say, look, no, please don't judge. Just come over and help me clean this room. Please. Please. I wouldn't have anything to bribe you with or anything, but I would beg in a very pitiful way. Okay, um, I'm wearing this. You guys remember I hauled this sweater. So what I wore to work today was I wore this sweater with, um, it's a pink sweater with these, what are they? Turquoise flowers on them under a little white shell. Uh, over a little white shell and because it has black buttons I've already lost a fingernail tonight and I had to glue on one that was kind of too big for my finger so I got this one big thumb that's not even meeting the oh it looks janky because it's got black um buttons I wore it with black leggings and because it was a balmy I don't know, 78 today, and I thought, yay, sweater weather. Um, okay, anyway, so that I wore this, and I wore these moissanite daisy earrings with it, and I'm wearing, because is Mercury still in retrograde? I always wear my Moldavite Herkimer Diamond and Tektite Pendant um, when Mercury's in retrograde. Don't, you know, it's just a weird thing that I do. Sorry about that. Shall we get to Holland? Let's get to Holland. That should be a thing. Maybe that'll be my title of this video. Let's get to Holland. After this, you guys, I've got to do a lot of review. I've got so many reviews I have to do that I almost really need to make a spreadsheet of all the reviews. I'm too... I get too excited when companies contact me and I go, okay, okay, okay. And now I've got stuff to review just up the wazoo. And I really, all these people are starting to go, when is our review going to run? When is our review going to run? When is our review going to run? Anyway, what's in the bag? Okay, the first thing that's in the bag is a shirt that I'm hoping I can wear with black leggings. I'm always looking for stuff to throw over black leggings. I've got about six pairs of black leggings and I just always want to throw something on over them and then run out the door. It's a polyester, big, long, wow, I have no room, you guys. It's a big, long polyester shirt, and it's got a cat on it. Um, it's kind of mod. It's got kind of like a mod design on it. I got it deliberately big 
so I could wear it over leggings. And I'm happy that I'm wearing leggings today because I can try it on over leggings when I get done with this video. And people, someone asked me if I could do a clothes try on video. Um, yeah, sure, one of these days. I'll put that on my one of these days list. But our full length mirror, I've got one in my bathroom, which is a mess. And I've got one in my in my downstairs in the downstairs hallway and the room behind it is a mess because Loki's little playpen is in there and it's just a mess but that cat print dual pockets oh it has pockets top where are the pockets oh it's got little pockets cool all right I like it it looks kind of mod I like it it feels, you know, shiny and whatever, but I paid $9.39 for it, and it is still $9.39. And see, look how long it is on this chick. Chick. I almost feel like they stretched her out in Photoshop, though, or something. I don't know, but I'm hoping it's that long on me, and I'll walk around with a cup of coffee like that, too. Okay, Look at me holding up my phone for the camera when I could have just put a picture right here. Lazy. All right, what else is in this bag? There are two orders in this bag. You guys, Timu's being weird. Because this order, I swear, I just placed like two seconds ago. Like, really, is the date on here? I, I placed this order September 6th. Today is the 12th. And I got it. But there were orders that I placed like a long, long time ago that I still haven't gotten. So I was not expecting to get this order at all, like anytime soon. Okay, this is something that I might need your help explaining to me. It made me laugh. And I wanted to get it because it made me laugh and it's always going to make me laugh it's weird it's a sweater wow it's a really heavy sweater so so much for wearing this tomorrow i was going to wear this tomorrow with brown pants but i thought it would be lighter it's a duck holding a knife in its bill and it says murder on it now what is that you is it just a random sweater with a murder duck? Like murder duck. Like the duck has a knife and it says murder. I can't tell if I'm getting that in the frame or not. But what? What? What is? Is it that a reference to something? Is it a play on words that I'm just not getting? Or is it some kind of a pun that I'm missing? Is it a goose, murder goose, goose murder, duck murder, knife? I have no idea, but it's awesome. Just the fact that it's a random duck with a knife that says murder. And I can't, I don't, is it a reference to a cartoon or a TV show? Please, if you know, I don't know. It's one of those, if you know, you know. Well, I don't know. So, Explain it to me, please, in the comments, and let me know what 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 that means, or is it just random? And if it's just random, that makes it all the more awesome. I should Google murder duck, and I even replaced it with a bad word, wondering if it was supposed to be saying some kind of phrase with the, you know, the F word in it, but I can't. I don't know. When it says all match knitted cartoon duck, I got it in size XXL and it's really for men. But don't tell me I can't wear, you know, a man sweater if I want to. Hell, when I'm dating men, I'm always stealing their clothes, especially their pajama bottoms. I've got a whole drawer full of men's pajama bottoms that I've you know, you know, they're like little trophies that I take from men that I date. And even if the relationship ends, I still have their flannel pajama bottoms. 
That's kind of weird, isn't it? I should get, I'm going to throw all of those away. That's just weird. Okay, $20.57 is what I paid for murder duck sweater. All right, well, that's kind of all I wanted to see, but no, really, there's like a lot more stuff in here. Okay, what else is in here? What else is in here? Oh, oh, for a minute, I was afraid it was another diamond painting. It looks like a little bag. Now, it might be from, oh, portable, large capacity, travel. This doesn't look, I thought this would be much bigger. Speaking of men that I've dated, I thought this would be much bigger. But it is a small little makeup bag because I don't have enough. It's about that big inside. It's got all pockets, 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 pockets. And then the lid on the inside has slots for your br makeup brushes. And uh, it's small. I paid $5.98 and I got a partial refund. I got a price adjustment on it. Now it's $5.38 and you can get it in different colors. You can get it in a cream color. You can get it in this pink color or you can get it in like an orangey brown color that even me who buys lots of brown bags, it's kind of like, why would you want that in brown? Ew. All right. So there's that. Okay. Put this down here. Oh, my throat is getting dry again. Let's hydrate, shall we? Excuse me for a minute while I take a drink. That was slurpy. My hair is very scraggly. I'm not sure what she did to my hair when she cut it this time. But you can really see how thin and scraggly it is now. I mean, I guess you probably could when it was longer. But now with the short cut, like, she didn't stack it or something. Like, I wish if she would have stacked it a little bit in the back... Maybe it would have looked, I don't know. I don't think there's anything you can do for my hair except pray, pray for my hair. Okay, so what else are we do, dealing with in here? We're dealing with, oh no, even I don't, am hoping this is not another purse, but I have a feeling this is another purse and I've had enough. Now we are, coming up on our neighborhood garage sale in October. And I am looking forward to, oh good, it's not a purse, participating in that. Although, you know, shady garage sale thieves. Okay, this is a document holder and like a file, like a soft file cabinet. And it's got inside, it's got five um, things to put documents in, although they don't close in any significant way. I can't really figure them out, actually. This one has, like, four pockets. Stop frowning. But they don't really close. I don't understand them, I guess. I understand this one. And I understand this one, and I understand, and this one has a zipper, which I really understand. They're all different. This one has a zipper, which is nice. This one does not have a zipper. It's just sort of random and, and strange. But I might actually end up putting diamond painting supplies in this thing. Really. Um, let me zip it up. There's a little Loki down there. Oh, and it's got some sturdy carrying handles, and it even has a little... Have I been talking this whole time with something in my teeth? It even has a little padlock on it, which I have no idea what you lock in here or how you work that. I don't know. Why is that random lock there, and what in the world does it lock? I don't know how locks work unless they're on my door, and I definitely know how to lock that, but that's about it. Do you guys ever have that dream where you're back in high school at your locker, and you can't remember the combination, and you haven't been to, and you realize that you haven't been to class in, like, 
weeks and there's a big test and you're trying to get to it and you haven't even been to the class. I have that dream all the time and also that I'm at my locker and I can't remember the combination at all. And I also sometimes, I always, always have this dream that I'm on an elevator. If you watch the video before mine, you'll understand while I'm, why I'm reaching up so high to set things to the side. And no, I don't go to sleep with a big mountain next to me. I do put these things somewhere away. By that, I mean I probably like stack them on the floor. My floor has little stacks of everything all over it. Anyway, I always have this recurring nightmare that, or it's not really a nightmare, it's just a frustrating dream that I'm on an elevator and I cannot get it to stop on the floor that I want it to stop on. And it keeps stopping at random floors instead, all the floors except the one that I want it to go to. Or sometimes it'll go sideways to some other part of the building or something, but it never goes where I want it to. I know it's deeply symbolic about how I feel about my life, probably. Look at these fingernails, you guys. Gold, y'all. Now, am I really going to wear those? I don't know. Maybe on Halloween. Well, I've got a lot of Halloween nails. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought these. Should we smile for some kind of a thumbnail? What? I can't. You won't believe what I got on Timu. <gasps> I don't know. Here comes the little Loki. Now, Loki, you must calm your little self down. Loki almost hit one-click pay again on something. Now, today I put in my last Timu order for the month because my mom needs some money, and she needs quite a bit of money, and I'm going to have to give it to her, and there goes my Timu um, budget. But that's good. That's fine. I'd rather give my mother money than waste it on junk on Timu. Shiny punk style metallic gold fingernails, $179. And they are still $179. Now, wait a minute. See, they look elegant on the hand model, like jewelry, except they're on your fingertips. But on me, they're probably just going to look freaky and weird. Okay, so there were those. And also in here, there is, now we might be getting into another order. So I have another order that I bought all jewelry. Oh, why do I have a feeling there's another Timu bag in the mailbox? Because this is getting empty and it said two orders were delivered today, but one order is almost all earrings. Okay, in this order, um, I also got some more of those USB extension cords because they're really awesome. And they're, yeah, this is the second time I bought USB extension cords because I found that they've really come in handy. And I wanted a couple more because everything you know requires a USB charger these days. Okay, good. That's in the earring order. So... Let me bounce over to that order. Those were two of those, and they're 3.3 feet long, 179, and they are now 198. I paid 179 for them. I put this down here with the trash. What else is in here? Some little earrings. I probably will wear... Oh, no. Where are my scissors? Oh, they're in the scissors jar. Okay, these are little earrings, and I will attempt to show them to you. Wow, I look tired. Sorry about that. It's been a day. Oh, no. That sounded Debbie Downer-like. What is Loki doing? Loki, what are you doing? What is that sound? What are you doing? What are you on? Meaning, what are you climbing on? Okay, these earrings look like this. They're cool. They're little hammered silver spirals. And, of course, they'll be sideways, but... 
like them. Oh, you know what? I look tired because I tried putting some purple eyeliner on under this. I put some purple eyeliner on this bottom eye lid just to see what it would look like. And it makes me look sick and tired is what I learned. Okay, those earrings are precious. Oh, I have an idea, you guys. We can put all these things in this little makeup bag. Just remind me that they're in there. Um, Loki, what are you doing? I'm really excited because a toaster company contacted me today and asked me if I wanted to review their cool toaster. And our toaster is falling apart. It's an old toaster that, like, I don't really even want to make toast in. It's so old and gross. So, I said, heck yes, I'll review your toaster. Soon, we'll just furnish my whole house with stuff I review. Then I'll bow out. I'll be like, thanks, everybody. I got all this furniture. I've got enough junk to last me a lifetime. Time for this channel to take a bow. And you guys, I will tell you this. Wait, Loki, what are you doing? A company called Colon Broom contacted me. They're going to pay me to do a video on their product, which is called Colon Broom. It flushes out your colon. So when you guys see me do that video just know that yeah i sold out i'll talk about my colon on camera for a little bit of you know what lettuce cheddar what do we what's a slang term for money okay this is a tiny little birkin bag purse charm and i thought we could hold it, it even has a little scarf wrapped around it which is funny I am so nervous about what that sound is. Loki, what are you doing? Loki, what are you doing? Come here. Okay, what are you doing? Are you all right? Here he comes, here he comes. Okay, you can go back to doing that then. I just wanted to know what you were doing. All right, let me find this little, I'll show you this bag. Let me find the order. She talks too much. First, let me find it. And then, fashionable, $10.99 I paid for this. Holy cow. All right, let's get it out. And then we'll compare it to my Birkin bag behind me. All right, here's the little Birkin bag charm. Although... It says Charming Mini Platinum Bag Pendant Lipstick Bag Earphone Bag. But I mean, how do you even open it? Oh my gosh, do you open it like a real one? I thought it was a per, and it's got a little scarf tied around up here, which is cute. And it's got feet. Get out of here. That's adorable. But okay, wait. You oh! My fingernail is not going to come off again. All right, wait. So do you really undo it and open it like a, like a, oh, I'm going to need my glasses for this. Let's try it. All right, what's happening here? How cute are those little feet? Okay, um. Tell me you don't really open it like a Birkin bag. Oh, you do. Shut up. It is. It's like a little bag. It's like an exact replica of a little Birkin bag. Get out of here with that. That's crazy, Timu. You crazy, Timu. Okay, so you open it up. So it's not a charm, though. It doesn't have... It's, it is kind of a pain in the neck, like if you needed to get your ear buds out in a hurry. Okay, it's got a piece of styrofoam in here to hold its shape. And yeah, I mean, you really have to go through all the hoops to open. What I've learned since I got now this, um, 
Now we're not going to dwell on this, okay? But I do want to show you something. But I need my other phone, which I just had a second ago. Oh no, where's my phone? Oh no, it's not even turned on, so I can't call it. Oh, Lord, this is how people live. Okay, I have my iPhone in my hand and I need my Samsung phone. And it was right here somewhere. Put this thing down here. Here it is. It's under all this junk. Okay, so I'm going to adjust um, just in case. So I got... Um, I have this replica... Birkin bag behind me and I got it from a company called here it is let's just show it really quickly and that's all there we go that's it the company that I got it from is called Babala I'll put the Babala I'll put Babala's link in my description if you're interested in checking out your own replicas of a Birkin bag but wow what I've learned about them is just like this one, they are a pain in the neck to get open and close. So many hoops that you've got to jump through just to get, why would anybody pay? How much do real ones cost? Don't they cost something like 30000 or 130000 or something ridiculous? Real Birkin bags. Okay, now we're about to look at a ton of earrings. Okay, so that little tiny replica one, which is cute. I might just set it on a desk or something. I'm definitely not going to store things in it. But um, that tiny one is adorable. And I lost my chain, my train of thought. What is this? I think this is some kind of a diamond painting tool. Oh, please. I need to put my glasses on to figure out how to even open it. If it's something as simple as pulling out a tube while pulling off all my fingernails, or is it wrapped in plastic? I can't tell. Wait, here, this looks more... This looks... Aha, I did it. Okay, let's see. I think... This... <gasps> it's a diamond painting tool this side is round dun 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 and then this side is wax or cement or whatever you want to call it it's sticky this side is sticky so that would be cool if this really works that would save a whole step of having to dip this end in wax if this really sticks to the little diamonds that's fabulous. And as always, I will try to link to my orders below. New diamond painting pen, dual head, pink pen and pink wax head, $2.24. And it is now $1.79. Wow. Marked way down. Only one left. Get out of here with that, Timu. Okay. What else? Oh, these are really cute. Okay, here's some earrings that are really cute. I was just about to, like, what was I going to name this video? I'll remember when I watched. I, I always watch the replay before I upload it. Because I'm neurotic like that. I'm like, what was on my teeth? What was hanging out of my nose? What was going wrong? Is the hello sign on? Is it all lit up? These are little... Loki. These are little fake... Um, well, I call them fake, you know, because they're not... They would be expensive if they were real. Cameo earrings. Pink. And they're just precious. Nice. Oh, gosh. He came in like a wrecking ball. Okay. Here's Loki, everybody. Hey, say hi. Hello, everybody. Woo. 
Jeez. <laughs> oh. All right. Those are cute. How much were those? I got to get back to that order. Let me find them. Stop that, Loki. They were two. I can't read that. 260, and now they are 260. Okay. Cool. Look, you're on my stuff. This is a cow print purse strap for the buttery, buttery bag, which I'm not going to lie, is starting to look a little raggedy. At least on the inside, it's getting... Now, Loki, hold on a minute. It's getting a little dirty and raggedy, and I might have to buy another buttery, buttery bag just like it or move on and say, oh, I remember that buttery bag phase in my life. It was so nice. All right, I'm even putting the diamond painting tool in. Yeah, I looked over. I've got a pile of diamond paintings over there, but I don't want to put it over there. I'm even going to put the little Birkin. I'm putting everything in this thing. Okay, so if I'm whining about, like, help, I've lost everything, I can't find anything, somebody just remind me, you put them in the disappointingly small cosmetics bag. Okay, this is trash. This is trash. All right. What's next? The suspense is killing me. It is, uh, wow, it's vintage style natural crystal. Huh. All it has is the letter H. Hold on. Healing is probably what it says next. Pendant. But will it get me through Mercury in retrograde? Wow. That is intense. How do you even get this on, though? Wait a minute. Oh, I see. For a minute, I thought they thought I was going to just get this over my head. And I was going to say, you have no idea. Okay, so I'm sorry. Here it is close up. Sorry, it's swinging around. I'm going to put it on right now. So I can hang it on my brand new necklace hanger that I just put up in my bathroom. I'm going to try to put it on right now. I'm not going to put it on right now. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it on camera and it's hurting my thumb. Okay, I paid $4.48 for this. And yeah, it's trippy looking. I feel guilty because I probably could have bought one from an artist on Etsy, which would have been more like, I don't know, it would have felt better to buy it from an artist and support small artists. But no, I got it on Timu. It says vintage style. Now, oh, it's sold out. I'll hit notify me in case anybody wants, wants something like that. It looks a little... Um, striking, I guess is a polite way to put it anyway, but I don't know what they will never know what that one H that got cut off stood for. Now I couldn't tell if these were, um, I got them because they were black and white, but then the, when I looked at these earrings later, I went, wait a minute, I didn't just buy some cow print earrings. Did I like, tell me if those look like cow print to you. Because I don't really necessarily, I mean, as much as I get a kick out of cow print, I don't want to run around in cow print earrings. Although, you know, they would look cute with black and white, a black and white outfit. Oh, I should be posing for some kind of a thumbnail. Shoot, what should I pose with? This tiny little bag? I've already opened it, though. And I can't get it closed again. Should pose with Loki? No, Loki. Loki, no. Loki, I swear he probably thinks his name is Loki, no, or no Loki. Loki, get me a mouse. I'm trying to teach him how to bring me a mouse. I mean, he can, he likes to play fetch, but he doesn't, like, he won't bring me a mouse on his own. Like, he, go get me a mouse. Okay, anyway. Jeez, I don't feel like fastening this. It took an hour and a half to unfasten it. I'll figure something I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just use one of the YouTube suggested ones. What? I got another one? I must have been in just like a 
new age kind of mood when I was shopping. Well, you know how it is. You buy one thing and then they fill up your feed with all these other things. And this is a pendant. I do not have a chain for it. Uh, I could try using the chain on that other one if it comes off, but it's a moon and three crystals and it is something, man. That is something people are definitely going to see. And I don't know if the, this looks like just like cloudy plastic to me. In fact, I don't think these are real. I don't know. What did I pay for this thing? I paid, I think I paid $377 for that. Hold on a minute. Hold up. Possibly, unless it's in this other order full of earrings. Oh, I'm sorry. The cow print mystery earrings, boho style asymmetrical drop earrings um, that look like cow prints. Those are 152. And then this thing, moon plant shape pendant white was 584. Wow, that's a lot for Timu. And it is still 584. And it looks way more impressive in the picture, but doesn't it always almost sold out? Sure, Timu, that's what you said last week. Okay, there's a little cat head right there. I don't know where Clover is. Oh no, another one. What's the matter with me? Sun moon shape pendant with something something $5.99. With natural crystal stone pendant for do-it-yourself jewelry making. That means no chain. And then it says Halloween. Let me get it out of this. He came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> he is a little wrecking ball. He is. Okay, bye. I can't get it out. Help me. Oh my gosh. Maybe this year it'll we'll get this out. Okay, gosh. Okay, I like the sun on this looks like rose quartz and it's got a crystal hanging down from it and these are moon are these moons yes those are moons okay man that is something ooh seven dollars and 47 cents no i did not i paid 5.99 for it now it is 7.47 Okay, what else? These are, I don't know. First I need to get them out, then I need to put on my glasses. <gasps> oh my, oh no, we're gonna lose it. These are dangly, oh I love these. These are really cool. These are dangly sun, moons, and star earrings. Cheese. Oh, all the wrinkles though. Get back, put this forward and me lean back and then say cheese. I check my teeth, okay, cheese. Grit my teeth. Hello. Oops, I lowered it. Wait, what's he doing? What are you doing, Loki? Get down. Oh, please, Lord. Give me patience and strength. 129 I paid for those. Good, they were worth it. These are my favorite so far. Well, I like the little cameos. And I like these. And I, I don't like the fact that I need to glue my fingernail down pair of ancient Greek mythology face, sun, moon, dangle, earrings, blah, blah, blah. 
They're now 131. Oh, they're different. Well, shoot, I already put them away, but so they're a little bit different. One of them has a big star in the middle with the moon on top, and one of them has a big sun in the middle with a star on top, and one has a sun and a moon, and cool. That's really cool. Those are beautiful. Um, What is your name, Loki? Get down. Loki. Loki. It's like a mom trying to make a video with like kids running around. Sorry, give me a minute while I glue my nail down, please. We do this is like a little ritual that we do in almost every single video by now, isn't it? We take a little break. Everybody take a sip of your drink or whatever you're doing. Do that while I glue my nail back down. And then we can, let me press it and hold it. Loki, could you get out of there, please? Get out of my Birkin bag box. It's, that thing came in a big box. Um, Loki, I keep forgetting his name. Not, not forgetting it, but I just keep kind of, hey, you, get out of there, Loki. Loki. Hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Thank you. And if you're coming back to my channel, I hope you'll come back again after this video. But thank you for coming back. And thank you, everybody, for hitting the like button. It really helps my videos and the algorithm. So don't forget to smash that like button. All right. The one thing I've learned about this knockoff um, LV purse, which I don't know where I got this one. I can't remember. So many companies, so little time to remember where I got them all, but the zipper kind of sticks, so that's a giveaway right there that it's fake. fake. Loki, get down! He's not listening to me. I don't know what he's doing. Stressing me out. Okay, these are little turtles that have already broken off their little cards. They're supposed to be glued right here. And it says, you're tur turtly awesome. And I got a set of two of them. And they're broken off both of them. I'll need to get some glue. And it says, I don't know if I... Let me get my glasses on. It says, I don't... I know it. You know it. Teeny turtle is always here whenever you need... Okay, it says... All right. It says, you're turtly awesome. Awesome. Get down, Loki. Loki, get off of that thing. Oh my gosh. I got this stack of Chanel boxes that he's climbing like a mountain and the whole thing is coming down. Get down. 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 You're totally awesome. I know it. You know it. Teeny. Turtle is always here whenever you need a little cheer. All right. What did I pay for the Turtly Awesome cards? I paid. Should I even upload this? Probably not. It's just, it's embarrassing. It's just horrible. $2.48, $2.50 for a set of two, or you could get just one. For a dollar ninety-eight, but why get just one? Here's what it looks like when it's not falling apart. Why would you get just one for one ninety-eight when you could get two broken ones for two forty-eight? Okay, the next thing in here is a yet another crystal pendant because. Something was wrong with me that day. I felt like I needed my chakras balanced. Or, I don't know, I wanted to channel my inner moon goddess. But it looks like three crystals with an amethyst in the middle. And it goes on a chain. Nice. I mean, this is kind of cool. These are cool. I just, I don't have chains. I need to get some, or leather cords or something for those. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm ever going to wear, going to wear them. I'm trying to stop saying gonna. I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear them. Okay, these are mermaid earrings. I love mermaids. 
And I loved them before mermaids were like a thing. Mermaid core. And I love no, I don't like the movie The Little Mermaid. Oh, don't hate me. I don't like it. I, I hate that movie. I don't hate it, but I don't I don't have any desire to watch either version of The Little Mermaid. I hate that song Under the Sea. Oh, I hate it. I love the, I think it's Hans Christian Andersen who wrote the story, Little Mermaid. I love the story, the old story. Um, or it could be somebody else. They're kind of art deco with a mermaid in the middle. Now, the mermaid in the middle looks a little cheesy, actually, the more I look at it. I like the art deco kind of look to them, but I don't know if I'm where, like what and where I would wear these with or... I have no idea. Those were, oh, sorry, tired. Those were, uh-oh, that was Debbie Downer-ish of me. Today was a weird day at work, you guys. So many people were out with that one global virus. 197 and they are now 159. And um, I had to do someone else's job because that person was out with the virus and it was way out of my comfort zone. And in fact, I have to do it tomorrow too. So it, put, it was very stressful for me. It was a really stressful day for me at work. But oh well, if we didn't have a little stress, we wouldn't appreciate the relaxation times. Okay, these are really cool and I like them a lot and they are just simple, hammered, silver drop earrings like this. So I've got pen marks all over my hand and they hang from these fish hooks and they will look like this, which is a style that I like. Let me see if they look the same. And they were, they call them tribal earrings. They were $1.97. And in a minute, I'll tell you if they're still $1.97. Ooh, it's 47 minutes. I better hurry up. Okay, they, oops, they look the same. So they're not like two different ones. Okay, put them in here. I'm putting them in this bag. I'm talking to my future self. Sold out. I'll hit notify me in case anybody wants that. Oh, they've got some cool... Don't look at the earrings. They've got some cool earrings, don't they, on Timu? I love the funky earrings on Timu. I think that might have been the last thing, you guys. Maybe. Yeah, that was the last thing. Oh, I feel sad. I like this haul. This was a fun haul because it was a lot of little jewelry and some funny clothes. Funny clothes. Murder duck with the knife. I'm putting all the garbage in here now. And the little Birkin bag cracks me up. And you're totally awesome was kind of a letdown. That was kind of the biggest letdown. The big chunky crystal pieces were kind of like a what, they're like, they're okay, but they were like a what was I thinking kind of thing. The document holder was kind of meh. And, but otherwise I thought everything was cool. I like murder duck. What's my favorite thing in there? I don't know. I, li I loved a lot of the earrings, probably the sun and the moon earrings that hang down. Those are kind of cool. And I'm trying to think of what else was my favorite in there. Murder deck, of course, sun and moon earrings. I like, I think I'm going to like the diamond painting tool a lot. And who knows? All right, that's my haul. Now, when I upload this, it will be Wednesday. Say a little prayer for me if you pray, because I'll be stressing out at work on, on Wednesday. I'll try to upload this in the morning before I go to work. Then people can watch it during the day. And then I've got to get to reviewing some things. So, all right. If you watch, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for hitting like. Thank you for your kind comments down below. 
And whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, whenever I get this uploaded and whenever you watch it, I hope you're having a good one. And I love and appreciate all of you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And I will talk to you tomorrow, I hope. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. How do we start?